Hey, uh, folks, and uh, welcome back to my let's play of Cyberpunk 2077. Now, this is part uh, 79. Now, I've got to meet uh, Pan Am at midnight, so let's uh, let's fast forward to midnight. Da -na 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 uh, uh, I think four forty nine. Uh, so that'd be ten minutes before midnight, which would be uh, seven hours, I think. Eight, I don't know. Where would that take me? 11.49, there you go. Right, let's wait the remaining 10 minutes. Let's slowly, uh... Just amble around here. <laughs> just walk slowly over to here. <laughs> What's that? What's that? It's just a pole. Uh, is it midnight yet? Carrying. Firearms. Best in all the Badlands. Uh, can I sell this, this stuff? Uh, yeah, take this. And... This one's a, that's the one I've got. Hold on. That one. That one and that one, so sell the rest. Oh, no, that. Uh, why can't I sell that one? Odd. Carnage. Yeah. So I've only got my three weapons I carry. Okay. Let's go now, it must be time. Can I help? I'll be done soon. The Raffins left are crooked as a bag of snakes. Are you ready to go? Born that way. And you? Sleep well? Like a baby on a bumpy road. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. 
A Satwave power station. Uh... Why down the AV there, at that exact spot? Because once it's on the ground, we'll have to locate it and grab your target. As fast as we can. And the terrain there is typical California desert. Flat, dry, and empty. There'll be a big old sitting duck. Mm. Power station. Wait. You want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV systems. So the drive, nav systems. Communications. Everything. Out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. Hmm. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Gotta try not to blow the AV to bits, okay? I know. But I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works, you'll be in for a rough landing. Aren't you, uh, counting chickens? We can't actually know the AV will fly over the station. Of course we can, but we don't have to. You'll see. It's bound to be quite a ride, but not one you'll regret. I've got everything planned out. All right. Let's ride. Great. Hop in. It's cold out here. Uh, let me pick up here. See them too often. Who owns this power station? Yeah, yeah. Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. Yeah. Uh... And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. Because me. I had to carry a real Gannic Iguana once. Seriously? A live one? Yup. Someone put him in a deep sleep, packed him in a cooler. No idea why, but man, I made a shitload off that job. Your turn. Think you can beat that? The Deputy Finance Director of Calcas. Whoa. I'd say it's a tie. Dead. In the trunk. Okay, fine, you win. No. Gonna switch to daytime. Nah. Uh, you like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or wait, scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Rathens. You're on thin ice, B. You just like to mess with everyone. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. Do we really have to waste our time on this? We do. Unless you've already used one of these without help, while moving, while taking fire from all directions, and still managed to hit something. But somehow, I don't believe that's the case. So don't argue. Just connect. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh... I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, 
Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Mm. Good. Next target. Single shot. Um. I don't know. Nothing. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. And that wasn't so bad, was it? Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner, controllers, all a couple of generations back, at least. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know. Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. Yes. Is this a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. 50 years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can just get along. Uh... Let me remind you. I want Helmet from me. Not to stick it to Arasaka. This is life or death. My I life mean, or death. Let me remind you that Sokka and their fucked up tech is what got you here. Who gives a shit about motives? Ends justify the means, and right now your end is to survive. She must be clear. Why is the she not wondering who I'm talking to? I see no <laughs> the thing is the collection uh. unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Uh. Power stations serve the whole city? Honestly? Who the fuck knows? Guess we're about to find out. The antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Mm. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. Rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know, the converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like Sometime this before? Later. Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Um, if you... Power station, EMP, the systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things, that's the trick. Mine is the AAA. Wait, what now? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face. The problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. T-shirts. Triple A. It's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. Mm. Your method. Triple A. That all you? <laughs> Not at all. I learned it from the Elder Caldos. Mitch and Scorpion. They were trained in something like it during the war. Then they made it their own. It's come in handy, I can't deny. And it will again now. What if, uh, something goes ass up? 
Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think I'd just give you a foolproof secret to success? Gotta say, almost had me believe in just that. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay, I'm ready. So, turret at the ready. Gonna be shooting a lot, I think. Uh, uh. I'll deal with it. Deal quick before they hit us! Good enough. Is that all of them? Mm-hmm. Provided we hurry. I'll connect the detonator. Quick, V. Um. Ah, shit. Find the control. Ah, ah, ah. At 11, you got a lift. Yeah, let's get out of here before it lights us up, too. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chance of the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic, maybe lay out, work on I my mean, base, Dan. Watch out, the next one might. Johnny? Johnny? Fucking hell. Hmm. Okay. I'm fine. It's... It's okay, just... It's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Just... Delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry, I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blasted shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. Think I forgot quiet exists. Mm hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> uh, let's just sit here and wait. It's there, coming from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. 
Now. Boom. There she is. Shit. What's, What's going on? God damn it all. Bullseye. Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> and... That's how you do it. It's losing altitude. We got the bastard. Let's go. We got it. No way it stays in the air after a blast like that. We either land or crash. You catch that? Over. Yep. AV, unmarked. Losing out. Fish, there? Scorpion. What the hell are Finishing they doing? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Fish, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am. Don't go near that AV. I repeat, do not approach the AV. Mm -hmm. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao. Wait for me, or better get the hell out. They probably want to help the survivors without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me. The pulse is interfering. Shit. I have three on radar. Drones? Yes, get ready. They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Mrs. Scorpion. Some sort of flying ambulance or something, I don't know. Yeah, sunrise. Saw it! Behind that hill! Well, one less thing to worry about. Pan Am, you okay? A fucking ricochet. Think you can manage? Sure. I'll live. Don't worry. Hey man, where are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion? Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. So it's further, further away than that. Uh... Looks expired. V, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Uh, Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Altecaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... I know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Flying one now. Flying machine of some sort. Some sort of drone, I guess. Not sure. One of those things in front of me there. Oh, uh. Supposed to be doing here. Scan the area for sightings of. Um. Over 
this. Right. Fucking corporate rats. Uh. Do, do, do. Mitch, he's alive. Okay. They have them. They've set up the launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Can we take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there first. Hmm. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them! <sighs> this is all my doing! Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools! Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them. Help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car. No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pan Am. Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... But I have Mitch's rifle. And we'll try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. Mm. Now what? Let's get him. Uh, you're supposed to be... L I'm supposed to be leaving her. <laughs> Why is she following? Uh... Save it? No, I can't. Uh, I just hope it's doing auto saving properly here. We could be a long way back. Uh, hell yeah! Hell yeah. Need back now. Going on, not, not losing health. Gotta speak with her or something. Um, Going on. Uh. Path clear. I'm coming for you. Life during wartime. Um. Who's that droid? Uh, 
back up. Open the door. I'll cover. Yeah, once I've picked up my goodies. That. You don't see the shit you're in. You shoot him, and a millisec later, you'll eat lead too. I let him go, I'll still Pan eat Am. lead. Shoot Shut him. up. Fuck! Pan Am! God damn it! Oh shit. What the hell? Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, Pan right? Pan Am, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I didn't make it in time. No. No! Are you sure? No, he... That pilot didn't have to die. He was this close to KV. He was armed, close to panic. Could have done something stupid, like kill me. He was terrified. Me. All he wanted to hear was he had a chance to get out of this alive. Save your breath, V. I could not risk the life of a friend. The one I still have left. I wonder what you would have done in my shoes. No point arguing. Still got things to do. Agreed. Hmm. Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. Why well, dive straight for the AV? Didn't notice the markings? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Couldn't have been more wrong. I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything. See anything. Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West. Small unit. Your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to... Alright. Directive PD-08. Directive PD-08. Extraction and transport of strategic resources. During flight, please keep external communication to a minimum. Priority passenger zero safety. Passenger zero will receive his rights upon arrival at destination. During transport, please follow Directive P2TT2, which forbids any communications, communication with or by the transported party, including in crisis situations. They'll follow their tracks. Hmm. I'll go after him. Stay with Mitch. I'll be fine. I'm going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes the jet. We'll go. Bye-bye. Sounds mm. solid. Kang Tao lost contact with her AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pan Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going before they send a rescue party. Uh, I'm gonna rescue this guy. Well, uh, Venge. Let's ride. It's time we move. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. It's over there. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow. Mm, 
something to scan there. Have I scanned it? Probably have, right? Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. Um. Over here, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Green thing. Well, it's a green thing. Well, it's not. I'm scanning, but nothing's happening. It's still yellow. Okay. What's with these? Sort of like Scorpion said I would hate Night City. Ghost cars. You that well. Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough of the city, we would stock up on canned kibble, fill a couple of thermoses with they coffee and or something. What's going on there? Road. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah. But he's gone. Shit, B. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Hey, I know. Look, you're alive. Still got a few things to take care of, too. Mm-hmm. You know it. Hmm. Just follow the ghost cars, I guess. Vans. Tao. Ghost fans. <laughs> so I finished the uh the one I was kinda did before this. Where was it? Lightning breaks, yeah, that's done. This joins on to that. All I see is cracked concrete and rust. If they thought they would call their friends, they were in for one hell of a surprise. Careful, V. Where are we? We are down there. That was that forbidden zone. Remember, I got these sort of signs when I was down there and said, ooh, keep out or something. <laughs> I'm there, I think. Uh, or was that further down? Uh, near, the, near the place where I started the game. Probably not going to end up there, though. Keep firing, 
I'm reload, come on. It's so unbearably slow. The Kang Tao operatives on the airstrip. Optional. This way to here. I'm on Come on, Pete. <gasps> I'll stay in this area here and shoot, I think. Oh. Right, you. Bye bye. Take it home with you. Fucking right. Better hurry then. Damn weapon thing is stuck again. Hasn't picked this not repaired anything. All the other glitches from the previous patch are still there. And more probably. That's one of our one of their rides. Let's check it. Dunno if we'll find anything else here. Enough. There's nobody here. Better check where Kang Tao took him. Fast. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. Hold on. Maybe I'll do that. We'll come back or... All that damn interference. Come out of the map. Back. They're coming for him. Don't worry. Away. You know what? What? This is my life right here. Tell I you step what. out of one pile of shit, only to trip into another bigger one. Alright, I'll save it. And that way I can uh Damn. Not... and pull in everyone else after me. I'm done. You hear me, B? I fuck up again. You better give me a good kick in the ass. But you didn't fuck any. Promise me. All right, I promise. Uh, save it now, so we can not have any conversation to deal with. Right. I just want rid of that weapon thing. It's in my face. A little too much on the HUD there. So. Uh, from the start now. Moving in moving north.
Check this one. Nothing much happening here, just She gone. And it's not behind me anymore. I'll just so so reappear when I get there. Oh. The hell, I'm there. Uh, she's about to say something. <laughs> Back at the uh we're back where we were with um what's her face? Dakota, that's Dakota's garage, isn't it? Uh the only set up shop here. They must have helmet locked up somewhere. Look at see that? The pumps are pretty good. Not what you would find in a place with pumps. The bastards might have managed to call the transport. Okay, get some cover. Been here before. Uh, I've never done a level here, but uh, it's my well to get through as well. Uh, I'm light. Gas grenades. Oh, they're getting up, mate. Something's really taking my health down quick here. Not bad. I dare say. Use it. Rapid loss. Where's it going to take me? You just wonder every time. Yeah, back here. Start of it. Um, trying to do it from distance here, like up here. You down. Uh, you down. This is not uh maybe I can 
trans... I can't know if I'm in the red. Uh, Yeah. Oh no, cast trees though, isn't it? Hell yeah. Right, uh A scope with its uh, normal sight and not this damn infra well, goggle, you know, night vision goggle one. Uh, on, I can't see with that, it's just. Down. Get a little closer. They're on their last leg. Uh, the hell? Uh, I'm not reloading. That's the wrong grenade I've got here. Throwing the wrong grenades here. She goes again with her hell, yeah. Why, why be me? Why be me? Confessions of a brain dance addict. Preface. 
do you want to be you? Seriously, take a moment to let that question sink in. Do you feel at home in your skin? Do you like your job, your friends, your family? When you look in the mirror, do you say to yourself, I am the luckiest person alive? Then hop in the leather upholstered back seat of your chauffeured Rayfield. If you answered yes to any of those questions, put down this book and stop wasting your valuable time. If you answered no to the above, I understand just how you feel. It used to be said at the turn of the century that the world belongs to the 1%. Today, one thousandth of a percent is closer to the truth, and your chances of joining this group are even less than that. In this, in this reality, I mean, where are you? Where, where you are you? In a brain dance, you can be anyone, a broker who manages a portfolio worth trillions, an elite soldier who blasts his enemies out of existence with a tech shotgun, a suave rocker boy whom the whole world lusts after. Now, I ask you again, of the millions upon millions of people in this world, do you want to be you? The answer for me was always no, and so my story begins. Sergio Mendes. Sorry, Sergio Morales. Uh, okay. God damn it! Essex playing up again. Carol, Carol's new security botline. Fed up with unreliable security contractors, did another brainless goon from the animals beat your gardener half to death by mistake again? If you take professional self-defense systems, seriously, choose Carol's security bots powered by Halas technology. Carol's security bots are a proven solution for owners who adhere to our terms of service and safety guidelines. When purchasing ca Caroli, not Carols, Carolis, uh, Caroli products, you consent to all legal provisions bound to sales contract. Limited lifetime guarantee. Right. this look this hmm. uh, last legs. I said that ages ago <laughs> ah dear uh, purple it's purple again these things which I can't oh, I can use that one right where the other one. Hmm. 
Right, and... Uh, Oops, is it? Uh, oh, uh. What's in this thing? Right, messages. Nothing. Files. Nothing. Local network. Hmm. Lots of stuff here. My God, this goes on and on. Uh, turn radio, turn off. Uh, wheel balancer. Um, device. Um, wheel balancer again. On, Device. What's this? Coffee machine. Television. Yeah, I could really <laughs> do with turning off all the televisions in this game. Really annoying. Uh... Yeah, I must have turned off all these annoying televisions. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, off. Oh, there's files here. Hold on. That's that thing. Uh, the hell is going on? I can't get back to the... Ah, that's stupid. I can't get back. What's this? Right. Uh. How many televisions in the? It's just a wee garage. Heck of a lot. Maybe it's all the televisions in the game with a bit of luck. Freezer. Mm. Door terminal. Getting the, getting to see that guy I couldn't get into. See you later on. Uh, to be on. Arcade machine. Can't do anything about them. Security turret. Destroyed I think. <laughs> uh, craving science. What the hell's that? Uh, don't know. Hold on. What's all that about? Hell yeah! That's one switched off. Um. 
Um, turn off. Turn. Uh, ice machine. Can't do anything there. Uh, ice machine. Dana's craving, whatever that is. Is that? Satisfaction. Arcade machine, I'll try that. No, there's nothing else, that's it. Right. Yeah, so you keep saying, so you keep saying, so. Find Hellman at the gas station. Well, he's in there. We can't get to him. That's the problem. There's a this door. Okay. There must be another way in. This way. There we go. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. What the hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like. I need Hellman. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Mm. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Brought a man with them. A man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Covering you. I thought you wanted to talk. Well, uh, you're not talking. I can't. Hold on. We had a convo going, did we not? You even get any customers out of here? Shit, anyone even drive this way? Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them? Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? In exchange for your terrible memory. <laughs> don't you worry. I'll forget you too. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Oh, look at this thing. You even get any customers out of here? Shit, anyone even drive this way? Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them. Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. Uh, another submission from Marty J to Va Valdi <laughs> Casper. Don't you worry. I'll forget you too. Dear Casper, thank you very much for your response with regard to my collection of automotive essays. I am sorry my humble attempts were not to your taste. However, this time I think I've got something more to your liking. In close, you'll find an ex excerpt of my autobiography, Restroom Next Exit. Please let me know if you find it fit for publication. Sincerely, Marty Jenklov. Jenklo. Uh, from Valdor Kaspar, Valdi Kaspar to Marty Jenklov. Re another submission. Dear Mr. Jenklo, thank you very much for your manuscript. Our editors have considered your text and although restroom near e next exit is an example of bold and lively praise, we have unfortunately decided not to include it in our publication plan at this time. We wish you every success, success and encourage you to continue writing. Sincerely, Valdi Caspar, Senior Editor, Dorking and Linster. 
from Marty Jenklau to Valdi Kaspar, re another submission, dear Mr. Kaspar. Well, at this rate, I could paper my office wall with all the rejection slips you sent me, but to follow your, I hope, sincere advice, I will not sheathe my pen just yet. So if restroom next exit doesn't interest you, then perhaps my other manuscript, Octane Rating, will. Octane Rating is a collection of short stories centred around the customers of an an old, nearly forgotten gas station out in the middle of nowhere. Of course, the work is uh, entirely fiction and any relation to real people or places is purely coincidental. If you are interested, I would be happy to send along a copy. Best regards. Marty. From Vol Valdi Kaspar to Marty Jenklo. Uh, read another submission, dear Mr. Jenklo. Thank you very much for your manuscript. Our editors have considered your text, and although Octane Rating is an example of bold and lively praise, we have unfortunately decided not to include it in our publication plan at this time. We wish you every success and encourage you to continue writing. Sincerely, Valdi Kaspar, Senior Editor, Dorking and Linstar. Uh Oh, no, these again. Uh, that's one I haven't turned off. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Damn it! Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I, I just dust myself off and get back to work. Okay. Um I well, I've talked enough mate. <laughs> Where'd I go from here? This uh up here. Oh, there's something down here. Chemicals and v the invisible killer. We've long known that AV's crisis, AV's crisscrossing our skies, are busy dumping harmful substances in the air, such as aluminium, carbon dioxide, sulfur trioxide, and sulfur acid. Studies have also <coughs> bless you, have also revealed the pressure, the presence of dead red cells, blood cells, and E. coli as well as sodium chloride table salt. Now you don't need a degree in science to know the harm those substances can wreak on the body. We found that sulfur compounds can lead to cancer, heart disease and other illnesses arising from a weakened or even damaged immune system. It can also lead to spontaneous dental hydroplosion and acute men meningitis. Who sent you? Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared knock of. Knock Hellman out. You are our soccer. I don't knock him out. Let's get my fist out. Oh no. Uh How did I knock him out? I've got uh blades that would kill him. Uh <laughs> not a fan, I take it. Ah, come on. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or our Saka. Oh, uh, right, here we go. And that's still Johnny's thing. What the hell? Right, here we go. Punch. Don't take this personally. 
Seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Call Takamura. Okay. Just remember, you have Helmet, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See it. Um... Pick Hellman up. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Where did I go? Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. You know? Where did all these people come from? So the guy, uh, Mitch and Pan Am came out to rescue him? That is the word. Put Hellman down. The AV that came down and Scorpion. All right. It's all related. Stay right there. I had no idea we'd landed a contract. The cavalry so has arrived. Saul's out to hit Mitch the corporations too? <coughs> to me, the road was clear. I don't think we were step. spotted. We Mitch, still do better not to hang around to too long. What do you plan to do with him? Um, unless you know the better, just need to ask him a few questions. Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. So, everything's done here, all clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am, they both saved my ass. I just hope it was worth it. That's all I tried to raise for you. Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure, just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? <laughs> Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure, right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're an Aldo Caldo, you were always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still an Aldo Caldo. Hmm. Damn it all. Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think about everything. Mm. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Hmm, my own bike.
of time ah, sunset motel badlands this is still going on this one hey where am I what is this place motel middle of nowhere any specific middle doesn't matter you're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine Silverhand. print. Silverhand? Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Where? Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the <laughs> terminal stages. Yeah. Minimize the pain. Not in Sweden, mate. Uh... What exactly silent. is going on in my head? You tell me, what's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, 
Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn. It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts, slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time. Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try, just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. Forget Kang Tao. Right? Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to Gonk's fucking useless without him. V. Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is right. so Relic 2.0 prototype specifications, top secret, clearance level PED, yo. declassification date NA, project code M, blah, blah, blah. project supervisor Anders Hellman, approved by S Sabura Arasaka, project name Relic 2.0, base a logarithm soul killer, blah blah blah, secure soul. Hmm. Uh, preliminary review project summary. Unlike Relic 1.0, the latest version of the biochip prototype is not only designed to sort of de digitized uh, engram for basic communication, but also an enhanced personality construct capable of independent function and re implantation into a new organic host body. Relic 2.0's improved personality construct preserves a vast majority of the pri primary subject's cognitive and virtualized motor functions. Preliminary testing shows emotional output at 65%. Confirm conformity levels note we are only concerned with the construct's matrix coherence but no not with, with its perceived authenticity, while volition fluctuates at 80-90% to 90 conformity. The success of the improved engram is largely owed, owed to the use of experimental polyglycal structures as well as new synthetic granule neuron replicators within pseudo matrix matrices C section 8764.03 uh, A precondition of activating the relic 2.0 is the seizing of the host's vital functions brain death, cord cardiac arrest, cardiac arrest only complete and irreversible shutdown of neural activity can allow the engram to root itself and take over the body i.e. reboot. Clinical trials using 
subjects on the verge of biological death have proven unsuccessful in activating the Relic 2.0's basic functionality. In cases where subjects underwent biological death upon taking root, the biochip showed promising signs of initial activity prior to lapsing, identifying the causes of failure despite fulfilling all technical requirements is the first step to achieving a breakthrough, i.e. complete activation of the Relic 2.0's construct in a suitably prepared organic host body. Full target description C section 318-31B stroke 02. Only in your best interest. V, right. I will remember this. What the hell? Oh, okay. Do you think? Fuck me, just look at that. Unacceptable. Inhuman. That is not uh, <laughs> Sons of bitches. Use your tapeworm. And what's that? Gotta go. Hang in there, bud. Uh, and that's that one. Uh okay. So that's uh that one. Um So that that was part uh no, tape one, right? That was part seventy-nine. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, quite a long one. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And come back for part uh, eighty. Until then, tell you bye.